Last time we discussed what the professors were able to do, so now we're going to cover the students. It all begins with creating an account. You can see that the student will be able to create an account with their UBIT username and their at buffalo.edu email address, which will then take them through email verification. For the purposes of this demo, we've already gone ahead and done that. On first time login, the student will be met with their student profile page, which requires them to fill out some fields that will be useful for CS department staff as well as faculty. This will allow staff to enroll them in CS 495 credits or put them on payroll. This also gives the student an opportunity to upload their resume, which will be sent to the professor with every application that they fill out. Upon submission, they'll be taken to the Current Applications page, which will list all the applications that they currently have out. They'll also be able to apply for new classes that the professors have listed, such as Programming for Cyclists, as we have listed here. During the application process, they'll need to input their class grade, the number of credits for 495 that they would like, and a brief personal statement. Below, you can also see that they have to fill out the optional fields that have been specified by the professors necessary for the student to fill out during the application process. Here we have C++ comfort level, the available hours during the week, and their Java level. Upon submission, they'll be met with a submission successful notification, as well as a notification the professor will be able to review their application. Back on the home page, we have listed the applications that the student currently has out, as well as the application status, such as pending. They'll also see whether or not they've been waitlisted or if they've been hired.